Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading. Before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Erica Banks and Nicki Minaj. I'm going to do them first and then I'm going to do Nicki Minaj and Little Cat. Okay? So let's start off with um, Erica Banks. How does she feel about Nicki Minaj? Erica Banks. How does Erica Banks really feel about Nicki Minaj? Erica Banks. Hmm, interesting. So we have the Nine of Swords. Her feelings are hurt, okay, because Nicki Minaj blocked her. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles that talks about a financial opportunity. So it seems as though she kind of feels like it would have been a good opportunity for them to work together. They could have made some money together. Um, the Ace of Wands is here in reverse. That talks about distractions and delays. And then we also have the Queen of Swords, which talks about her having some sort of bitterness towards Nicki Minaj, okay? And then we also have the Queen of Cups here in reverse. That talks about codependency. So she was kind of relying on Nicki Minaj to give her that cosign because she felt like um, it could have been beneficial for both of them. Nikki would have been looked, you know, in a positive light and, you know, Erica Banks would have got the cosign. So she kind of feels like it would have benefited both of them. You know, um, when she gave Jesse Nelson and Bia a cosign, you know, people were saying how, you know, Nikki helps the younger generation or she helps people that, you know, came after her. You know what I'm saying? When she gave 6 9 a cosign. So Erica Banks is kind of looking at that you know, in a way like we both can win, you know? Um, I do feel like somebody will reach out to Erica Banks too. The Ace of Pentacles. Somebody that don't really fuck with Nikki is going to reach out to Erica Banks, okay? The Ace of Pentacles also represents Erica Banks getting more opportunities, okay? I don't think she's going to be as big as a Megan Thee Stallion, but I do feel like somebody is going to reach out to her. Um, how does Nicki Minaj feel about Erica Banks? Okay. How does Nicki Minaj feel about Erica Banks? Nicki Minaj. How does she feel about Erica Banks? I do feel like they've talked behind the scenes. The Queen of Swords... That talks about communication. So I do feel like Erica Banks has reached out to Nikki behind the scenes in regards to them working together. I also feel like um, Erica Banks will try to make amends with Nicki Minaj. She's going to go out of her way to try to make amends, clear up any issues. Um, but in regards to Nicki Minaj, the chariot card is here. That means she feels like Erica Banks has talent. The chariot card represents success you know, heading in the right direction. So um, Nicki Minaj does view Erica Banks as talented. Um, the Ace of Wands would have given her an opportunity, okay? If things did not go left, I, I'm i getting that, you know, Nicki would have, you know, extended that olive branch, given her an opportunity, um, you know, some guidance, some advice. Um, the Queen of Wands, it talks about having confidence, courage. And I feel like... Um, Nikki kind of feels like Erica Banks is maybe a little bit too cocky or, you know, arrogant. Because if you guys remember a few weeks ago, she said that she was like the hottest female rapper in 2022. So she kind of looking at her like, you need to pipe down, you know, relax. Okay. Um, the high priestess that talks about them, you know, having a connection. Okay. I wouldn't say they were the best of friends, but I do feel like they've talked behind the scenes you know, communicated about different things. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles that talks about a financial working parent. And, you know, that basically represents Nicki Minaj being busy, okay? So she's kind of also seeing it as a standpoint, like, I got other things to do. I can't be worried about an Erica Banks collaboration. 
You know, I got a management company I'm working on. I'm working on my label. I got a child. I have a husband. You know, I have other things on my plate. I got to worry about an album. So an Erica Banks collaboration is not on my to-do list. That's how she's kind of seeing things too. Because the queen of pentacles represents you working, being busy, a financial working parent. Okay? But she does view Erica Banks as talented. Okay? Um, so it's not like she's looking at her like, girl, you not even, you know, somebody I would collaborate with. It's more of, you know, I see that you're working hard, but I got other things to do. And on top of that, you're a little bit too cocky. Okay. Um, does Erica Banks have genuine love for Nicki Minaj? Let's see. Does Erica Banks have genuine love for Nicki Minaj? Erica Banks. Does she have genuine love for Nikki? Erica Banks, does she have genuine love for Nikki Minaj? I'll be honest with you. The magician card is here in reverse. That represents manipulation. So I don't feel like when Erica Banks is saying that she's a barb and, you know, she's loved Nikki for years. I do not believe that. The ace of pentacles in reverse. That talks about a lack of direction in reverse. Um, we also have the nine of wands. That talks about an overinvestment. So basically, she thought that kissing Nicki Minaj's butt would kind of garnish Nikki's attention. And basically, you know, she'll be able to kind of get, you know, that cosign. I don't feel like she had deep love for Nicki Minaj, that, you know, she was a fan for years. I do feel like she respects Nicki Minaj and her talent, but having a love for somebody and respecting somebody is two different things. You know, you can respect somebody, but not love them. You know what I'm saying? And the two of sources here in reverse, that talks about indecision, okay, stalemate, um, things not really going your way, okay? So I don't really feel like she had like a deep love for Nicki Minaj. I feel like more of, I wanna work with you because I respect what you, you bring to the game. And then on top of that, I really need this cosign, okay? Um, so when she was saying like, oh, hurt my feelings when, you know, she unfollowed, uh, unfollowed me on social media, that's true to a certain degree. Like, I think she was more embarrassed than anything. Like, you know, she unfollowed me and blocked me and now the fans are coming in my DMs. Not more of, you know, I'm heartbroken by this. I feel like her feelings were hurt because, you know, it was so public, you know what I'm saying? So let's move on from that. Um, let me see, let me see. How does little Kim feel about Nicki Minaj? Little Kim. How does little Kim feel about Nicki Minaj? Because Nicki Minaj was giving little Kim her props earlier this week. So let's see. How does little Kim feel about Nicki Minaj? Little Kim, how does Little Kim feel about Nicki Minaj? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands that talks about conflict. Um, we also have the Six of Swords that talks about a release of baggage. The Two of Cups is here in reverse that talks about mistrust, not being on the same page. Um, so basically, the energy I'm kind of pulling on is... Lil' Kim still don't really F with Nicki Minaj 100%, okay? She still has issues with Nicki Minaj, and it's almost like she feels like Nicki kind of owes her something because the Knight of Pentacles, that represents wealth. This talks about money, entrepreneurship, working, productivity. So she wants to work with Nicki Minaj because she feels like Nicki kind of owes her that. Like, you kind of owe me something because... I was pushed out. That's how Lil' Kim feels. She feels like she was pushed out the industry. And Nicki Minaj can possibly save, you know, the remainder of her career. 
okay? Um, the Eight of Cups that talks about withdrawal, okay? So even though Nicki Minaj gave her props, she's still not effing with it. She wants money from Nicki Minaj. She wants a collaboration. You know, if Nicki wants to do that versus, you know, she wants to get, you know, money from Nicki Minaj because at the end of the day, she feels like she lost out on a lot, okay? Um, so let's see. How does Nicki Minaj feel about Little Kim? Nicki Minaj, how does she feel about Little Kim? Nicki Minaj, how does she really feel about Little Kim? Nicki Minaj, how does she really feel about Little Kim? Um, I would say this, the Ace of Pentacles, that represents giving somebody an opportunity. So I do feel like Nicki Minaj is thinking about working with Little Kim. The Ace of Pentacles is like, she's kind of thinking about it, it's on her radar. Um, the High Priestess is here in reverse. She knows that their relationship will never be 100%. She doesn't really trust Lil' Kim either, okay? And then the Nine of Cups is here in reverse, and that represents, you know, being discontent, okay? Not fully being satisfied. Um, we also have the Three of Cups in here, and this kind of represents, um, you know, three as a crowd, being alone. So she kind of feels like the relationship is one-sided. Like, you know, she keeps showing Little Kim love, but Little Kim don't really show her love back, okay? Um, Little Kim doesn't really big up Nicki Minaj in the public like um, Nicki Minaj does for Little Kim, okay? For years, she wouldn't even say Nicki's name. She used to say, like, old girl, and, you know, she didn't really know that person, but she'll say Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's name, okay? So... She is thinking about working with Lil' Kim. I will say that. She's definitely thinking about it. Um, she does respect what um, respect Lil' Kim and what she brought to the game. Because the Knight of Wands is here. And that talks about, you know, success, money, um, productivity. It also represents, like, you know, longevity. Knowing how many years somebody put into the game. Okay? So the Knight of Wands, that represents success, money, finances, and, you know, longevity. So she does feel like little Kim is a legend, okay? And she is. And then we also have the Ten of Cups, and that talks about building a foundation. So she feels like eventually they will be able to kind of, you know, coexist. They won't be the best of friends, but kind of, you know, men, you know, the relationship to a certain degree, okay? So let's see, will Nicki Minaj do the verses with Lil' Kim? Nicki Minaj, will she ever do the verses with Lil' Kim? Nicki Minaj, will she do a verses with Lil' Kim? Nicki Minaj, will she do a verses with Lil' Kim? Nicki Minaj. I'm going to say this. She knows that it would kind of give them a lot of money, Six of Pentacles. They both would really benefit from this. But it's almost like she kind of feels like, I got, you know, some time to go. Like, I'm not fully done in the rap game. You know, like me and you, we're not at the same level when it comes to our careers. That's how she's kind of seeing it. Because the, the star card is here in reverse. And that talks about being overly optimistic um, you know, the Eight of Swords is here in reverse that talks about negative thoughts. Um, we also have, you know, the Lover's card here in reverse that talks about disharmony. Um, so it's like she doesn't really feel like they're on the same level when it comes to their careers. Like she's like, I'm still in the game. You know what I'm saying? The Hermit card that talks about withdrawal. So she knows that they will be able to make a lot of money together. The Six of Pentacles that talks about sharing wealth and information. 
So, you know, she's thinking about it, but she's kind of like, maybe I shouldn't because I still got time. The injustice card is here in reverse. That talks about ignoring the call, avoidance. She's not fully ready to retire yet either. The hangman is here it too. So, you know, that represents stalemate. Um, so I don't feel like Nikki's going to do it right away. I think she will um, reach out to Lil' Kim. I do feel like they're going to possibly make amends. You know what I'm saying? Like in the public for everybody to see. Um, but she's not fully done yet in the rap game. And they're not at the same level. Like versus technically are supposed to be for people that retired or not really making music like that. Like Nikki, she's still in it. So that's how she's kind of looking at it. Um, but she does want to work with Lil' Kim just to put the differences aside. Um, anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications and have a great day.